I know it might not seem like it, but this is one of the most layered videos we've ever done. We've just completed a video where the entire thesis for 26 minutes is that some dude is a fat cunt. Now, we are reviewing the most fat cunt food item you could possibly imagine. And it was recommended to us by a man who goes by the name Fat Cunt. Fat Cunt Triforce from Zelda. I was talking to Anything for Views the other day. Talk about a content king. This is his hobby. He walks into supermarkets, looks at the McCain's presents frozen apple pie, but instead of pastry, it's sausage. And his internet pastime is YouTubing. Who is fucked enough to review that? He has come across a subculture. Just how there's people that still do tech deck peewee trick boarding when they're in their 50s. There is this strange group of human beings, AKA uniformly from Queensland. All these old dudes who the first thing you think when you look at them is, you have a wife from Thailand. And they review food that even truck drivers would look at and go, well, I may be in a rush, but not that much. And you know what I have to say? Why don't they have millions of views? This is so much better than slime channels, the food equivalent of slime. To give you a, and no pun intended here, pure respect for these gentlemen, taste of what they're about, we're just gonna be showing them all reviewing the KFC Zinger Pie. This is a review of people reviewing KFC, so naturally, the scoring system is gonna have to be dash cams out of five. The first cab off the rank is Grinsky TV, and his YouTube user picture is of a frill neck lizard half going <laughs> mid shot. So half a warning. <laughs> he looks like if Jamie Oliver was born in the Sunshine Coast. Alright, the Zinger Pie. It's got a nice crust. Mmm. A nice actual pastry. Smells good. Do you think of their vibes they're wearing a cravat and they're on MasterChef, but they're in one of those cars that has those seats that you definitely know are so synthetic that you feel like throwing up if you're in the back? <laughs> it's actually fucking hot as. <laughs> I don't know if that man's facial expression ever changes, it's always just this. Mm. Yeah, okay, so there's a bunch of genetically engineered turtles coming to eat me alive. I didn't expect to go like this, but uh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> the sauce tastes delicious, the meat, pie, sauce, whatever it is. Sorry. No way can the sauce in a zinger pie be, quote, delicious. It is KFC gravy, already off to a putrid start. I'd rather eat a hot chick's vomit. Not, not an ugly person's vomit, but a supermodel's vomit. I'd rather eat that. <laughs> and, on top, and then it is just mushed up chicken like you would give to one of those sick patients that has to eat things through their nose. <laughs> it's really hot. It's a little bit spicy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's exactly what you would expect a review to be about of a zinger pie. Bit hot. Mm, spicy. <laughs> Holy shit. This video goes for nine minutes. And if you fast forward through it, it's just... Mm, not bad. Mm, let me just double check. And I give you, Gridsky, two and a half dashboard cams out of five. A bare pass mark, as it is solidly exactly what you would expect from someone reviewing a pie from KFC. The next one is Ron Preston, and ah, oh, very controversial opinion. 17 dislikes, 43 likes. Uh, looks like we found the Gavin McInnes of the pie community. Very polarizing. Okay, that probably explains it. He starts his video with this. I'm not the lead singer from Green Day if he was a crackhead. What's going on, YouTube? <laughs> and, uh... Facebook and Twitter and shit. <laughs> um, fucking. Okay, I've just thought he'd do a, a fucking video and review this fucking thing. Jesus. I bet even if Rodney Rude watched this, he'd be like, hey, easy on the F word there, mate. There's a time and a place, and it's not in a KFC car park. There's a lot of fucking kids around there. <laughs> this is a Zinger Pie from KFC. And I'm gonna eat the fuck out of it. Okay. <laughs> Dude, how damning is this of every sitcom that has ever come out of Hollywood? You laugh harder at some schmo trying to think of things sporadically off the top of his head more than you do two broke girls. <laughs> the pastry tastes like pastry. <laughs> I think this is possibly one of the best ideas you've ever had. Is this the dad of that terrifying kid in full force? Megan Fox, like picture her 
just like blowing you and I don't know it's I imagine it'd be like that feeling down there but like up here in my face <laughs> it's like, imagine she's blowing you with with spicy no that wouldn't feel good I don't know if he's trying to be funny there or not and I'm edging on the side that he's not I think, <laughs> I think he's just trying to come up with a comparison I think I'll just top it off with like orgasmic I'll just say that it'll save me trying to figure out how to describe a Megan Fox before surgery blowjob in your mouth. That sounded wrong as fuck, but this is good. Go fucking buy one for real. See, this is where this community gets dark. It's a very scary thought knowing that there is a subsection of society that have orgasms eating shit pies. But in general, Billy Joe Armstrong in between albums, he raked a good pie. Three and a half dashboard cams out of five, because I've had the time of my life watching you. One of those stars is out of pure hypnotic intrigue of him just going... How does he make it so rhythmic? KFC Ziggo Pie reviewed. Now, in this society, it appears that the older dojo masters of reviewing McCain's-esque food all seem to have sunglasses from BP. That is their black belt. All the young ones just have this glazed over face of, I don't eat glasses because of how dark my soul is. But the other ones have these glasses of, back when I was a cop, you mean when you used to be a security guard at footy shows? Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, absorbing the beautiful sights of Tasmania. What could make this better? There we are. KFC Ziggo Pie. Music cuts out. G'day all. Taz Dazza again. Welcome to my latest video. So I'm at Linda's Farm and I've been to KFC because they've re-released an old item that I've never had before and it's the Zinger Pie. Oh, I like this guy. If I was in a really low stakes game of pub poker with him, I'd be happy. So it's a... Pie yep, we gathered. With a flaky, buttery pastry, pieces of Zinger chicken, and their famous gravy. So it's in a little foil tray there. It is quite warm. It does say on there, caution, it's really hot, and I'm not assuming that will be the heat of the Zinger. This man is a genius at explaining things that are beyond obvious. So, aroma is... <laughs> Pastry. Oh, he's a sweetheart though. This is a man that should be one of those characters in the background of a show aimed at five-year-olds and they go, Ah, oh, what's Hungry Joe doing today? I ate one of the aliens in the background. Hungry Joe! Okay. <laughs> um, it's a decent sized pie. So many of them have said this. Decent sized pie. Oh, it's a little bit soggy on the bottom. Might have to leave it in the tray. I don't want to get zinger pie all over me before four o'clock you can get it with uh, regular chips for five bucks so that's a really good bargain if you can get there before four which i can't because i'm at work um you can also get it in a box meal and you can get it with the chips and a drink as a combo meal dude new favorite youtuber move over rice gum taz taz down under food reviews and more shits all over you i don't even need to see what he says about the pie five dashboard cams out of five michelin guidebook Hire this man. Uh, I think I'm going to give three stars to uh, Red Rooster Bankstown. Actually, all Red Roosters. Okay, now we're on to the titan of Australian food reviewers that seem to exclusively review low quality food. Greg's Kitchen. Yeah! G'day guys, Greg here. Well, today I'm off to KFC again. They brought back the KFC Zinger Pie. Everyone watching would have had some kid in their class that looks like this man if he was put in front of some aging ray, just being like, where's the ball? Ah! Okay, we're going to be reviewing pie. Can I get the Zinger pie and chips, please? What? Him ordering food politely is a prank. The Zinger pie and <laughs> chips sounds pretty good for five bucks. Yeah, awesome. Pie. Great, thank you. Everyone is over the moon at this deal of a pie and chips for five dollars. You know, shop around, you can't beat that. All right, well, how about we start off with the chips? How about no? Jesus, I'm so angry. It's supposed to be about pies. I now know how Grandpa Simpson feels when he's like, just eat the damn orange. Now I've cleansed my palate. I can suss this bad boy out a little better. Now, this is a good sized pie. It freaks me out that they're all reviewing it in their cars. It makes me think that they never leave it. When I'm sleepy, I just close my eyes until I'm not sleepy. Pretty clever. What do you do about the toilet? Oh, I just shit myself. What do you do when you need to have a shower? Moist towelette from KFC. That's where the real value is. And it's a good weight too. Looking pretty good. I love how positive everyone is in this community. Move over the Dalai Lama. You don't know shit about enlightenment. It's just going, eh, pretty heavy. 
Yeah, nice size. Yeah, yeah. A little bit doughy. Let's see if I can lift this lid a bit. No, oh, don't. Don't! You can get a look at the... Oh, for Christ's sakes! Yep, confirmed. I would rather eat supermodel vomit. So it looks, you know, looks pretty good. What?! Smoking hot. Looks like heaps of big chunks of chicken in there. Ugh. Honestly, this community makes furries not look like freaks. I just want to stick my finger in and just try the... Oh, God, that's hot! That was, simultaneously, the grossest and stupidest two seconds I've ever witnessed in my life. Mm, nice. It's supposed to be the Zinger taste, which is that hot and spicy chicken. And it is, I can really taste the spiciness of it. Why are Aussies such little bitches about spice? Just going, mmm, cucumber. Oh, my eyes are watery. Like, well, I mean, just trying the... Stop doing that! I can't! Watch anymore. One dashboard cam out of five. I'm sorry. I want out. Chad, what have you dragged me into? This is hell! Okay, and now for my fifth and final review, I'll be reviewing one of these Jinger pies. Really excited to taste it, guys. Haven't had one of these yet. And uh, comes in a bag, so that's pretty convenient. Uh, all right, so, hmm. Uh, comes in foil. Wouldn't have expected that. You know, you, sometimes pies do and sometimes they don't. Anyway, we'll get on to the tasting, shall we? A good four minutes before anyone else in this community does. Bottom's a bit soggy, but, uh, oh well. I think this is going to surprise a lot of people, but the pastry tastes like pastry. All right. If uh, sadness had a flavour... <laughs> yep, this is... Uh, this is reminding me of my divorce. Uh, still don't know why she left me. Let me just... Uh... No, that's right, because I think that this is legitimately entertaining. Pleasant beginning taste, huge aftertaste of depression. That's the zinger pie in a nutshell, because you have it, you go like, oh, a little bit spicy, and then afterwards you look inside and you go, oh, that's right. This is this is not good. This is, this is a low point, yeah. As such, I'm gonna have to give it one and a half dashboard cams out of five. It is not as bad as what I expected, but the emotional residue of it is way worse. Anyway, make sure that you give a nice like to this video, because that sign is the perfect symbol for this video. Just a, yeah! Please share and comment below. Come in.